How changing my approach to makeup changed my life. Hey guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to Pretty Unfiltered. Today we are getting unfiltered with Anna Okana. Hey babe. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Um, well, first of all, uh, I have a big girl, big fat girl crush on you. Oh, thank you. Um, I love your videos. And um, I've been watching them a while, even before How to Put On Your Face came out, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, which you should at this point, I'm gonna link it right here. This video is amazing. Let's talk about it because if this is my brain, mm -hmm. I'm watching it and it's like, like what just okay. happened here? Because you you <laughs> like you get invested because you're like, oh, she's gonna do a makeup tutorial, and you were saying like, fans, you guys have asked me to do this, so I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. And then you flip the script, and it's a complete perspective change on how you should actually put on your face. So yes, um, what was the inspiration behind that? Um, this is was more of an inner beauty makeup tutorial. It's kind of a satire on all the makeup tutorials we have on YouTube. Totally, it was one of the first ideas I, I ever had, but I thought it was so stupid that I didn't do it for like three years. Finally, one week. I just had no other ideas. So I was like, I'll just do this dumb video, whatever. And of course it's my most viewed and it went viral and upworthy and having to post and a bunch of stuff. That is so crazy to me because when I watch that video, I'm like, damn it, why was I not smart enough to think of this first? <laughs> like, and you're, the fact that you're sitting there thinking, oh, this is so dumb, like I don't want to post it. Mm -hmm. um, did you have like anxiety about posting it? Yeah, I don't, I don't like showing my, my face on camera without makeup. I'm not good at makeup. Uh, and I thought people would, were just gonna think I was making fun of of beauty tutorials totally. or making fun of makeup gurus and that wasn't my intention so I was really nervous that it would come out and people would be very angry. Do you have any advice that you can give the viewers and your fans about moving forward and confronting that type of anxiety that you might have? Yeah, I would say you just have to do whatever works for you to feel comfortable in your own skin. I rejected makeup for, for a long time because yeah. I was a tomboy growing up and I liked to skateboard and I liked video games and I thought that if I gave into makeup I was somehow losing a part of myself and losing a part of my identity. Like a sellout almost, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, no, actually, it's just like like when you find a style that works for you or you find like a, like a group of friends that work for you, makeup and, and your clothes are the same thing where you feel like this is how I'm representing myself to the world and this is how I want people to see me and this is how I feel comfortable and I feel like myself. Totally. So you did make this video in 2014. It's been two years. How has making this video and publishing it impacted your life? Um, in a few ways. First of all, I'm so much better at makeup now because I got a <laughs> lot of critique from other people in the comments about comments, the actually, right yeah. way to apply my makeup. And also it's just a nice little reminder that, you know, I think in this industry we are very focused on our appearance because we have to be. Our faces totally. are our money maker and it's very easy to forget to develop your personal life, to give you time to relax, to have skills and hobbies and really indulge your mind. And so that video is always like a nice little reminder that as much as I have to focus on this, I can focus on this too. Love it. So what are some of the positive reactions you've seen from your viewers and your fans from this video? I get a lot of like 14, 13 year old girls who are like, oh, this made me feel so much better about reminding myself that I don't have to just look beautiful on the outside. Like a lot of what I bring into the world is, is coming from the inside and the kindness that I can bring and how thoughtful I am for other people. So do you think that social media inspired you to make this video? Because I feel a lot of times it's like you get on Instagram mm -hmm. and you see these perfect faces completely airbrushed and then when you see them in real life, you're like, oh, actually they are a real person. They have flaws, they're mm -hmm. so beautiful, but they aren't perfect. Absolutely, and I was I would just watch makeup tutorials and you know follow along and your result looks nothing like the result on screen, so I would always get frustrated. Uh, it took me like three years just to learn how to do winged cat eyeliner. Yeah. So it was sort of inspired by like the frustration with the beauty community sometimes. And finally, last piece, Yes. Uh, last question actually, um, what is a piece of advice that you would give your 17 year old self? Um, if you wanna be the star, create the show. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Don't wait. Just move forward. I, exactly. I mean, there's a, I mean, that's what kind of why I made Miss 2059, which is my new series on Go90. Go 90. Yep. That comes out every Tuesday yeah. and the app is free. Go ahead and watch it. Yeah. But um, I actually was able to cast myself as the most beautiful woman in the world <laughs> in the year 2059 because I made that show. And I knew that if I auditioned for a part like that, I would never get it. So it, it's always great to, to put yourself in the roles that you want to play. Which I think is crazy. and I. That actually touches on a really important point that you're mm -hmm. saying like, if I auditioned for that role, I would never get it. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that? Um, because I'm a person of color, because I don't look like the standard ideal of beauty in today's society. I'm not six foot tall and blonde and gorgeous with full lips and big boobs. And I knew going into that, I was like, there's no way that I would ever get this if it was up to someone else. 
a lot of times women we're just judged on our outward mm-hmm. appearance. Mm-hmm. They, you, they don't see what else we have to offer. Did you uh, did you write the show? Did you? I did. Any- I wrote the pilot, and uh, the series was developed with a bunch of other writers. But uh, the thing I love most about Victoria is, even though she's a beauty queen, and people kind of take her as this idiot who's shallow, she has a lot of social intelligence. And I, I have a lot of friends who are beauty queen contestants and yeah. are in those pageants, and they're such lovely, smart women. Totally. And it's such a weird oxymoron type of feel. You're like, how are you this beautiful and this intelligent? Religion at the same time, it's not fair. Yeah. But I do think what we tend to judge other women who are beautiful is, is dumb, and I wanted to kind of take away that stigma. I love that. That's Thank awesome. You. I'm actually going to link to that in the comment section below the trailer for it, so you guys can go watch it. It's on the Go90 app. Every week? Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. All right, guys. Anna, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Um, Tell everyone where they can find you. Hi, I'm just Anna Kana on all the social medias. Yeah, girl. All right, guys. As always, in the comment section below, a few things. Let me know your favorite part of this interview, who you want to see on the next interview, and topic suggestions. I'm always open because this show is all about you guys. Um, And follow me, too. Kirby Johnson on Instagram and Twitter and Kirby.Johnson on Snapchat. See you next time. Bye, guys.